हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सूरज सोनी एंड आई एम ग्रीटिंग यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैम स्टार सो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैम स्टार सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ ट्रिक टू फाइंड द पीरियड ब्लॉक्स एंड ग्रुप्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट सो एज वी नो we have 118 elements in our periodic table so we should know which elements belongs to which group periods and blocks so let's see today the trick for finding out this so let's start for today's session was till end i hope you will like this trick so let's start so friends you are seeing on the screen here you can see tricks to find period block and group yes so today we are going to discuss a trick to find the period block and group of a given element so let's start so see here question is predict the block period and groups to which the following elements belong so here we have four elements you can see here we have four elements and we have given the atomic number of this elements so if we don't have atomic number we should know the atomic number of an each element of the periodic table so let's start so first element is magnesium which has atomic number 12 and the second element is vanadium which has an atomic number 23 and the third element is sodium which has an atomic number 11 and the fourth element is a uh, scandium which has atomic number 21 so let's see one by one so first element is magnesium which has an atomic number 12 so first we will write as you can see here first we will write atomic number of given element that is we have given here first element is magnesium so i have written here atomic number of magnesium equals to 12 okay so we should know how to write the electronic configuration of an element so if we know if you know how to write an electronic configuration you can easily come to know the particular element belongs to which period block and groups so let's see the electronic configuration of magnesium so electronic configuration of magnesium is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 okay so here we can count here 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is sorry 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 2 is 12 so 12 here we have 10 12 electrons so atomic number of magnesium is 12 so as you can see here we can write in first cell that means in k cell we have total 2 electron that means first cell that is k cell has a capacity of 2 electrons 2 sustain and the second cell has a capacity of 8 electrons so last is 3s2 so this is a valence cell we can call it as a valence cell or outermost electronic configuration of magnesium okay so this is very useful that means valence electrons are very useful to find period block and groups it is very important to know about an element whether an element belongs to first period second period and from which block it belongs okay so here we have 3s2 
as a valence electron of magnesium so we will write valence cell electron is only 3s2 because this cell is completely filled by two electrons k cell is completely filled by two electrons and l cell is completely filled by 2s2 and 2p6 that means total eight electrons so we have valence electron for magnesium 3s2 so if we talk about block so it belongs to s block because here we can see we have 3s2 here s p d and f represents the blocks that means the particular element belongs to which block so here we have valence electron 3s2 so magnesium belongs to s block okay so magnesium belongs to s block and let's see the next so if we talk about period so as we can see here coefficient is 3 here 3 s2 that means we have here 3 that means it is period number magnesium belongs to third period of the periodic table okay and let's see the group so group is second group how we come to know magnesium belongs to second group because here in valence cell electron we have only two electrons that means it belongs to second group okay so we have seen for first element that means for magnesium let's see for vanadium so here we will write second element which is vanadium which has atomic number 23 okay so first we will write atomic number of vanadium equals to 23 okay so then after that we will write electronic configuration electronic con configuration so electronic configuration for vanadium is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 let's count 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 10 plus 2 12 plus 2 sorry plus 6 18 plus 2 20 we have here 20 and now 3d which is now 20 plus 3 is 23 so here we have total 23 electrons of vanadium so this is electronic configuration of vanadium so let's see k block uh, let's see for k cell so this is k cell which has only two electrons and here 2s2 and 2p6 is l cell which has eight electrons and here 3s2 and 3p6 is m cell which has eight electrons and here 4s2 and 3d3 has total 2 plus 3 5 electrons so this is a valence cell because in fourth cell we have we should have 18 electrons but in fourth cell we have only 5 electrons so this two is this two is valence cell okay so let's see what will be the block so block is here we can see the 4s2 also completely filled so we will concentrate on this for blocks so so here we can see here d so vanadium belongs to d block okay so we can write here it belongs to d block okay then we will see period so period what will be the period for vanadium what vanadium here here is three okay 
सो वेनेडियम इज बिलोंग्स टू थर्ड पीरियड ओके तो वेनेडियम बिलोंग्स टू थर्ड पीरियड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ग्रुप लेट सी हियर ग्रुप इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ग्रुप हियर वी कैन सी हियर थ्री सो हियर थ्री प्लस इन बैलेंस सेल फोर एस टू इज ऑल्सो बिलोंगिंग सो वी विल एड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ बोथ द सब सेल्स दैट मीन्स ऑफ यस सेल एंड डी सब सेल्स सो टू प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव ओके सो वेनेडियम बिलोंग्स टू फिफ्थ ग्रुप थर्ड पीरियड एंड डी ब्लॉक ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल ओके सो इफ यू नो दिस ट्रिक यू कैन कैलकुलेट it in 5 seconds i am explaining you step by step that's why it takes time otherwise if you know once the trick you can find it in 5 to 10 seconds let's see the third element which is third element is sodium sodium has atomic number 11 okay so no need to write here atomic number of sodium we will directly write electronic configuration of sodium so sodium has electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 okay 2p6 here 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 okay so this is electronic configuration for sodium 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1 is 11 yes its total have a 11 electrons so here we can write 1s2 is k cell which has total 2 electrons and here we can see 2s2 and 2p6 is l cell which has total 8 electrons okay and this is valence cell okay so we will take it in box okay we will take it in box so this is valence cell this is valence cell so let's see what will be the period so first we will see sorry first we will see what is block so as we can see here sub cell is yes so it belongs to s block okay then we will see the period so period if we talk about period so here we can see it it is 3s2 so it is third period of the periodic table okay so it it is it belongs to third period of the periodic table then we will see the group group okay group so here we can see in balance cell only one electron is there that means it belongs to first group of the periodic table that is that means it is alkali metal alkali metal okay because first group of the periodic table is also called alkali metals okay so this was about third element let's see quickly the fourth element also which is scandium so let's see here for scandium so fourth element is scandium which has an atomic number 21 no need to write again here atomic number equals to 21 we will directly write electronic configuration electronic configuration okay so here we have atomic number for scandium 21 so we'll write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 here total 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 6 is 18 so we have to write for three more electrons so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 so let's count it again it should be total 21 electrons because 
scandium has atomic number 21 so let's count it again 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 18 plus 2 is 20 and 20 plus 1 is 21 so it's correct let's write so it is first cell is k which can keep with only two electrons so this belongs to 1s2 belongs to k cell and second cell is l which can keep total eight electrons so 2s2 and 2p6 belongs to l cell which can keep two plus six that means eight electrons then next cell is m which can keep total eight electrons two plus six is eight and the fourth cell is n which can keep total 18 electrons so here 18 electron is not here so this is balance cell or we can say outer electronic configuration of scandium okay so let's see the block in which block belongs scandium block belongs to which block let's write it here so block as we can see here it is completely filled although it will it is balance electron outermost electronic configuration of scandium but we will see for block only subcell which is incompletely filled S subcell is completely filled but D subcell is incompletely filled so for block we will see 3D so here we can see D so scandium belongs to D block okay then we will see the period so period here we can see with here we can see 3d1 okay so scandium belongs to here we can see 3 so scandium belongs to third period of the periodic table and then last is group we have to write it here group whether scandium belongs to which group okay so for finding out an element belongs to which group we have to add and electrons of valence cell total electron of valence cell so in valence cell we have 4s2 and 3d1 so here 2 plus 1 that means we will write here 2 plus 1 equals to 3 so it belongs to third group of the periodic table okay third group so friends i hope you like this trick so if you like this trick comment me in comment box for which element you want to know whether an element belongs to which group block or period so i have taken four examples in today's session i hope you have understood this concept okay so thank you very much